get ready start in the course of the discussion it has been very ably pointed out by a large number of speakers as to how the rubber industry is in the grip of certain foreign elements and indian monopolists at the top we know that there are small planters and producers but the hold of the dunloop company was also mentioned so far as the big industries are concerned it has been their policy to capitalize the money and to put money in the reserve fund instead of utilizing such funds and profits for improvement of the working classes and for the betterment of the laborers it was pointed out yesterday that the dunloop company gave very high dividends you will be shocked to know that while the company had money to declare a dividend of 40% and also to capitalize a part of the profits it did not give to all a fair deal to the workers on the contrary they were kept at more or less the same old level where they had a kind of labor practically speaking therefore it becomes necessary to look into this matter sir we are interested in the increase in production and everybody is interested in the increase in production the production of rubber coffee or of any other essential commodities or imported commodities must undoubtedly be increased in the country but merely by pointing a board or by taking certain powers into the government's hands or investing the board with such powers you cannot ensure increase in production there may be slight improvement here and there but materially you cannot uh, alter the situation until and unless you inspire the real producers by making them see through their own lives experience that increase of production means a constant rise in their standard of living in their material and cultural well-being now that is why i say that it is very essential when the board is really being given certain powers for looking after the interests of the working class to make these powers effective and to make them effective would be to ask the board to work for the increase of the wages of the rubber workers or the laborers who work in that particular industry now that is not there it is a very unhappy omission and a very sad omission if the intention of the bill is good sir as you know we had been told in the recent days very much about socialism and we are not taking about socialism in its big aspects here at all this is not our concern here but if you at all really have such feelings if you think that socialism is something which one has to swear by even though the ideas of socialism were first propagated one century ago then give some expression to it but we know that there will be socialism at all under you all that we say is if you swear by socialism talk about socialism
if the members of the side of the house go to some other houses and hear lecturers very seriously they should come here and tell us that they are also going to increase the wages of the workers when such measures are brought up such occasions are good occasions for them to being to cultivate this thing because you have yet to learn the abc of socialism first and you cannot write a book or a poem or an article straight away and we do not expect you to do it either but if you are really sincere about what you are talking you should try to learn the abc that is to say being with giving the workers a fair deal giving them a living wage and dealing with the workers here in this bill you should make provisions for them i do not suggest to the minister that in this bill there should be provision that so much wages shall be given to the rubber plantation worker or fix a scale and all that sort of thing all that i have proposed in this amendment is that the board should be given that reorientation of outlook should be given the direction that the wages have to be increased and that they have to consciously work for it that is all that i demand in this amendment sir we do not like that our workers should be exploited by the pupil and he will not deny because it has been pointed out from that side of the house also that huge profits are being amassed they cannot spend the money british who are earning out of this industry cannot spend the money with all their luxury and extravagance they cannot spend that money here in this country they spend this money abroad even then they retain some money in their hands they would rather keep them in banks idle than give this money to the workers for bettering their lot for improving their conditions which determines in the final analysis whether the production of the country would go up or not now sir i read with great interest the select committee's report especially the portion of the evidence appended to it and i would ask you also sir to reread if you have already read this interesting document you see here mr t t krishna machari crossing swords with an important representative of the british interests the british rubber interests in this country now it is all a wordy battle it is a sort of very interesting competition for being smart one trying to overreach another in smartness but at the same time out of these discussions it emerges that the british interests are totally unmindful of the interests of the workers of the interest of the country as a whole although br- the british gentlemen who came here to give evidence spoke of national interests and all that here you will find many interests full stop